Hello, welcome back. My name is Camille Stokes from Ivy Enterprise, and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make mass changes to either your web page or your website in Dreamweaver. I currently use Dreamweaver CS5. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use my blog for my website. It's optimized, so it does have a lot of small businesses in a lot of different areas on this web page. The keyword is actually small business web design service. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to use small business. There it is again. Also here. So um, I'm going to use two demonstrations. The first one is if you have a misspelling and you want to correct it, but you're worried that it may be misspelled throughout your entire website. Instead of going to each and every individual page to make this change, you want to highlight it. Go to edit, find and replace. As you can see here, this would actually be blank, but this is where you want to make a correction. You type in the way you want it to be. This is the misspelled word here. And you have a selection of either current document, which would be just this web page you're working on, or you can do folder, which is where you would find your website. Wherever you keep your website stored is what you want to go to. This will change every single misspelled word in your entire website. So if you do replace, it would only change this. But if you do replace all, it will replace every single misspelled word. Also, down here, ignore space. This means, say, when you highlight this word, you highlight a little too much extra space, not realizing it. And down here, there's no space at all. This will ignore this little extra space and correct it the way it should. And match case is, if you do small business with a lowercase s, and a lowercase b, it would only change small business with the lowercase s and the lowercase b when I make the correction, or vice versa if it's a big b or a big s. So um, I'm going to keep that check marked, and I'm going to go ahead and replace all. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to make this replacement because it is irreversible once you change your entire website. The only way to fix a mistake by changing the entire website is if you go back and switch the words. You do small business spelled correctly at the top and small business spelled wrong at the bottom. That will fix the problem. So other than that, there's no way to reverse a mass change to your entire website. Now, if you did your whole document, this whole web page, you could easily just go to edit and undo and it will fix the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And right now it's fixing my entire website. And which means I had that word spelt wrong in a lot of places. Down here, it um basically documents everything that is changing, as you can see here. Every web page that is changing is popping up. And this is the progress bar. Um, I have a long way to go, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some time and I'm going to come back when it's done and I'm going to show the second demonstration. Okay, and I'm back. Well, there's good news. It looks like I only had this mistake on this page and this page only. It scanned 2,006 documents, different pages, looking for this mistake and they could only find one that needed replacement. So that's good. Um, if you wanna close this, you go to close tab group. And for the second demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to change just the web page that you're on. Now, say you wanna change small business. 
I like to split the code code and design reason being is because if you just do design it doesn't change every single keyword you're trying to change for instance say this image of a button has the keyword in it if you just do code and make a mass change on this page it would only change the keyword that's visible on this web page because this is an image, the alt tag is hidden in the code, which is this right here. And here it is in the code. So for this reason, I only change it in the code. I'll find it on the design page and I'll come here, highlight it, go to edit again, find replace. This time you want to do current document. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to do tall business. So now it's going to change small business to tall business everywhere in this document. And I'm going to replace all. As you can see, it shows every single word that was replaced on this web page. It found 37 small business and replace the reset as on this web page. And as you can see, tall business, tall business, tall business. It replace every single small business. And this is supposed to be changed as well. The reason it's not changed is like I said before, I have it on match case. This is a small business with a small S and a small B. It only changed small business with a tall S and a tall B. So I'm going to go back to the code. I'm going to highlight this one. Edit again, find replace. Match case, this time it's a small s and a small b, so I'm going to do tall business again. And now it's changed. I hope this was helpful. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me to um, send me an inbox. And um, please subscribe because I do like to do a lot of videos helping people to solve problems like this. And um, I'll see you next time. Thank you.